More cow power on its way to Dane County. The county executive says the construction will begin on a second manure digester later this year. The project will bring together three farms in the town of Springfield that will supply liquid manure to the facility. The digester will remove phosphorus and create energy to power 1,600 homes. This not only helps us create renewable energy and use renewable energy, but it helps in maintaining our, our, our waterways and cleaning up our lakes. The project costs $10 million, $3 million from a state grant, and the rest from lacrosse-based Gunderson Health System as part of an environmental stewardship program. And that project will be the second of its kind in Dane County. We sent news Jessica Jess Garp to Wanakee to find out how the first digester is coming along. Jess. Well, that digester went online about a year ago, and in that time, one of the three farm families involved says it is making a difference. Chuck Rip and his brothers already have tractors in the field, a spring spreading of some managed manure. The Rip family part of the first three farm manure digester in Dane County that he says so far has been a success. Almost all of our manure is going up there. Between the three farms, we have about 80,000 to 100,000 gallons per day going to the digester, and it's uh, been working very well. As those thousands of gallons work their way through the digester, they end up as a solid product with 60% of the phosphorus removed. It's estimated between the three farms, they're removing some 40,000 pounds of phosphorus a year from the area. A big benefit is we're getting a lot of phosphorus taken out of our watershed, which is what the big point is, is to eventually get our, get our lakes cleaner, and this is one way to do it. The farm also gets financial benefits, saving money on fuel and power costs. The model started here is encouraging other farmers to see the benefits, like Greg Ziegler, who will be part of the newest partnership. With the city of Middleton, town of Middleton coming in closer every year a little bit to us, I felt like um, the, me be farming in 20, 25, even my boys 40 years from now, that might not happen. Now with the digester, there's a golden opportunity to, for us to stay here. Rip says while he and the other farmers involved with the first project were initially skeptical. Yeah, I think it's a it's a win-win deal for everyone. The key was funded by a $3 million state grant and the rest by Clear Horizons, who now owns and operates the manure digester there. Well, we could use a little extra power in this newscast tonight, <laughs> but the, the cow power is already putting electricity back in the grid, right? Well, that's right. Rip said right now it's powering, they estimate about 1,200 homes, but once it is up to full power, it could power about 2,400 homes that they hope will happen over the next few years. And that's some pretty fascinating stuff. Jess, thanks. You're welcome.